retro film maven here. In the uh, early to mid 80s, when it comes to Vietnam, uh, films basically portrayed it as an environment where you can go in, guns a blazing, and be a hero, be an action star, be Stallone, be Chuck Norris, and uh, save the POWs. Uh, films like say, Coming Home or The Deer Hunter, uh, really gave us an insightful look at the, the, uh, the trauma uh, that uh, veterans uh, go through or have gone through uh, post-war. And after that, it was like uh, we started to see films like POW Escape, Rambo, First Blood Part Two, Missing in Action, uh, films of that ilk where basically it's just one man goes in to save, like, to save POWs or, or, uh, and Vietnam was treated as an uh, action backdrop. But it wasn't until Oliver Stone's Platoon, where in 1986, where it really gave us a visceral first-hand account and experience of what it was like for these men and women to be on the ground dealing with this on a daily basis. And it was quite unsettling, powerful, and and undeniable that it, the it, it, the uh, the glorification that was uh, that at the time Hollywood was uh, embracing is, is just not the proper. Well, still entertaining, it was just not the proper way to approach this subject matter. And in 1986 through about 1990, we started seeing numerous films about Vietnam that basically took place on the ground in in the thick of it and many films gave us accounts of what it was like to be in Vietnam during the war in some of the worst moments and not not just in the combat but including like the war at home um, the uh, the plight of the POW uh, we got films like Back 21, uh, The Hanoi Hilton, Full Metal Jacket, uh, Gardens of Stone, um, Born on the Fourth of July, and uh, other films uh, of that nature. And one of the films to come out post Platoon uh, was 1987's Hamburger Hill, uh, directed by John Irvin. Now, Hamburger Hill uh, is a uh, retelling of a brutal siege uh, where the uh, U.S. Army was uh, attempting to uh, to uh, take over a hill of uh, strategic value and this film accounts the uh, the uh, men as they one get ready to to head for this uh, to this uh, destination and two the, the brutal and bloody siege, as says the, uh, as Irvin doesn't pull any punches and puts you right in the thick of battle, and the the uh, the confusion and insanity of it, and like Platoon, while it's not as good as Platoon, it really does not glorify the events. It really shows you matter of factly and how unsettling and how courageous and, and brave. Uh, a lot of these men and women were when they were put in this sort of situation. Now, uh, Hamburger Hill uh, stars uh, the likes of Don Cheadle, Dylan McDermott. Uh, who else do we got in here? Um, Courtney B. Vance, Stephen Weber. And like Platoon, it, it basically... Uh, tries to help you to get to know these men of this uh, squad and and how they relate and what they're going through on a daily basis and then once you get to the siege you really 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 like put you through the ringer as you see these men one try to uh, complete their objective and two try to survive this, uh, rewatching Hammer Hill just recently, it kind of reminded me of Hacksaw Ridge in a way, where it just seems like an unsurmountable, like, 
location to take over and these men were basically just like uh, taken apart as they were trying to uh, complete their objective and in many ways Hamburger Hill uh, feels just like that and there are events that transpire in this that are like, just like shocking like unsettling sad uh, there's a moment where there's like, an instance of friendly fire and then you're like thinking it's like wow I can't you just can't believe that actually happened but like I said this is based on the true accounts and that's we've heard stories about friendly fire and deaths by friendly fire and it's just an unfortunate incident of war so um, Hamburger Hill when I saw it back in 87 I was only maybe 16 or 17 back then I thought it was fine um, of course I was mostly comparing it to Platoon so I was kind of like thinking it's like I liked it but I wasn't entirely blown away by it probably back then I can't give it I think I give it about a six or rather a three out of ten or three out of ten whoops I mean a three out of five uh, but nowadays I would have to give it about a uh, three and a half out of five maybe a borderline four out of five somewhere in that little area between a three and a half and a four out of five it's a well-performed and well-paced uh, dramatization of the events and uh, it's 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 the, the battle sequences are great, are well filmed, and, uh, and just the, the, the chaos and confusion is captured quite well. And the performances are strong, and in the end, it's just like, damn. It's like, I remember back back when I was a kid, I was thinking, like, yeah, I want to go over there, shoot the guns, save the day, kill the enemy. But yeah, seeing what these men go through then, or hell, even now, you're like, do I really want to get him to do that? Hmm. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Hamburger Hill, 1987. Three and a half stars out of five. So have you seen Hamburger Hill? Uh, what'd you think of it? Please comment below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay to up my retro reviews, retro trailer reactions, and any other fun things I happen to put up on my channel. And be sure to hit that bell button so you can be notified when I do so. And so until next time, my friends, we'll see you at the movies.